Welcome to a brainstorming session with Arizona's renowned six and a half, Metalism's Brain Trust. You're about to be invited behind the scenes for an exclusive look at their creative process in action as several members of this prestigious group gather to perform and explain mentalism and mental magic. They are all professional performing mentalists. Some are internationally known, others are known nationally, and others you may not have heard of before. Together they form a synergistic group of creative minds which combine to produce miracles of mentalism and mental magic. Tell me, look over my shoulder, if you'd like. Turn it face up, shove it into the middle of the deck, and immediately slide the cards face down into the box. You know the drill, Dan. Close the little flap. Good. Dan, would you please hold this packet up? Look through the box at the light. Can you see through the cards? Can't see the Cannot cards. Cannot see. That's a simple case of logic, Dan. Turn it around, check the other side. Can you see it there? I'll try something even more clever. Somewhere in this pack, your card is reversed. Right. If I were to look away, open up, and allow you to look at the ends of the cards, can you see which card you reversed? No, not really. You know why? Why? That is a simple case of logic. Dan, put the cards between the palms of your hands. Do you think it's possible for me to look through your hands through the box, through the cards, and determine which card is face up in the deck? Likely, maybe, I don't no, know. No, no, no. That would be highly illogical. But if I were to tell you that the one card that you did select and turn face up and place into the deck was the Jack of Hearts, would I be correct? <laughs> <laughs> Quite illogical. Oh, that's perfect. Very nice. All right, good. Now, I'll turn around. If you'll, if you'll just put your initial right across George's forehead there. <laughs> all right, okay. put your initials there. Not so hard that it goes all the way through, because then it's kind of obvious which one is yours. Right. But I'll turn around. If you do that now, just write your initials right on George's forehead. Okay. So. And when you're finished with that, if you'll just mix them all back up so we don't know where yours is. I don't want you to even know where yours is. So really mix the heck out of them there. Now, that, now, they say that, that when we hand off money all the time, we're really giving a little tiny piece of our own energy off to people. And that's why some people get overly attached to money, but also why, you know, it really gives us a good feeling. So mix them all up now, all together. Just they got them good mixed and really want them mixed up. They're good. Excellent. And then you can put them in a little row. Do you have any idea where yours is yet? Good. That's perfect. All right. Okay, just look at the bills. Do you, do you get any sense of where yours might be? Any, any feel of the energy of where yours might be? You do, really? Good, good, good. See, sometimes we have to give people a little bit of help, um, and so we use these. Sometimes it makes it a little bigger, you know, so they can see the energy. But because you can, that's, that's even better. I'll, I'll just hold this just over like this. And if you grab my wrist for me, because this will kind of magnify the energy. Now, don't tell me which one you think might possibly be yours. You can't see it no. on a physical level, but on the other level. And just subconsciously, don't say anything out loud, but subconsciously, when you think, ah, that's it. Just, just, ca whoa, wow, It's <laughs> a lot of energy there, very nice, excellent. Uh, the, the glass fell on one, would, would you take a little peek and see if uh, that's really it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, wow. excellent, very nice. A little bit of energy, and I appreciate it. As a matter of fact, I have gifts for four of you. Now, you will notice, however, that I have five envelopes, they are numbered lightly one, two, three, four, and five. I know that four of those envelopes contain gifts for those of you in the audience. One of them contains something that I simply would rather you not have. The correct thing to do, of course, is for you to choose the envelopes that have the gifts. All that's necessary is for you to read my mind. I'll ask you, sir, if you would, of these five envelopes, one, two, three, four, or five, read my mind. I want you to have a gift now, so which envelope should you pick to have a gift? One. Number one. They always pick one first for some reason. <laughs> Hold on to it. We'll all open our envelopes together. Uh, speaking to this lady in the, in the back, now there are numbers two, three, four, and five. It's a completely free choice, but please read my mind because you have three chances to succeed and only one to get the zonker. Three. Number three, very good. You are doing perfectly. 
All right, hold on. We'll all open them together. Uh, this uh, gentleman sitting here, if you would, I have numbers five, four, and two. Your chances are a little bit more difficult. Two chances to succeed and one chance. <sighs> Number two. You're very easy to influence, all right. And finally, to this side, the lovely young lady seated here. Number five, number four. It is a free choice, but your chances now are only 50-50 if you depend on that. If you look into my mind, allow my mind to touch yours, I'll tell you which one to take. Four. Perfect. Now, as I said, there is a gift. And by the way, the gift can be worth millions of dollars each of you. So now each of you, if you will, open your envelopes, reach inside and take out what you find there. Yes, it's a lottery <laughs> ticket. I told you it could be worth millions. I wish you good luck, bon chance. Um, uh, by the way, this is a scratch and win lottery ticket in Italy. They're known as Gratte Vince. Uh, now you're wondering, well, wait a minute, Lee, you said that four of those envelopes contain gifts for us and one of them contained something that I didn't want you to have. Well, this looks very much like the same thing that you have. And by the way, if any of you are really big winners, you will split the take with me, won't you? Oh. Well, you have no choice because I signed the back of every ticket already. <laughs> None, <laughs> yes, nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, remember I said there was one envelope that contained something I don't want you to have. Look what else is inside the one you left for me. Mr. Franklin, a $50 bill. Thank you for participating, and I hope you're all winners. Thank you very much. Thank you.